All right, in this video, we're going to do a part called Object 1. First thing I do is start a 2D sketch. And I always like to start on the XY plane. When I look at this object, I am going to start out by drawing the front view. Notice on your view cube, it shows the front view. So I'm just going to use the line tool and I'm going to go ahead and sketch without any indication of the size, I'm going to sketch the shape first. So notice how I am trying to make sure I draw straight lines and line up some of these points. What I'll do later on, I will come back in and dimension it. And when we dimension it, it's, it's called a dimensional constraint. So that is my initial sketch. And now I'm going to go through and do dimensional constraints. What I like to do is put the overall sizes in first. So the overall width of this object is four inches. The overall height from the top line to the bottom, the overall height of the object is 2.5. And then I'm going to go through and adjust all of the other uh, dimensional sizes here. So from this line to here, it's going to be 0.5. From this line to here, also 0.5. The height of this is 0.5. And the height of this is 1. This dimension here, Let's try that again. This dimension right here should be one inch. And this dimension here is two. This dimension here is one inch. Now it's going to say about over constraining the sketch. We can accept that. You'll notice it's in parentheses. That's fine. And, you know, just make sure that we have all of our dimensions in to properly constrain this shape to the proper size. Now, uh, if we want to, we could put in these formulas to center it up with the origin, like I've showed you before. Uh, we could put in this overall uh, width divided by 2, and that'll center it up left to right. If we want to center it up, up and down, we can put this dimension in. Uh, that's overall height, not that dimension, but the top to the origin. Drag that out. Hit dimension to the origin here. Drag that out and put it in as a overall height divided by 2. Notice it turns purple down there at the bottom here that you can't see in the screen. It says fully constrained and we're good. So hit the green check for finished sketch. And what we'll do is we will extrude. I like to go back behind my sketch. The distance for the depth is 2.5. Hit OK. And that is a portion of it. Notice there's a little tongue that sticks out here. I will not include that in the initial sketch. Uh, we'll put it in as a separate feature. So notice over here, this is our extrusion one feature. We're going to add another sketch and extrude as a separate feature. So start 2D sketch on this surface here. I'm going to use a rectangle tool this time. Just come in, put a random rectangle on that surface, and then come in and dimension it. So I'll put a dimension from the edge over. That dimension is going to be 0.5. The height of this is going to be 0.25. And the overall width of the tongue 
is going to be 1.5. And then the height location from the top to this edge is 0.75. Notice it's all purple. It's fully constrained. So we can finish our sketch, making sure, just double check, make sure our dimensions are all good. I'm going to go ahead and extrude that. Click on that profile. It's going to extrude out. That distance is 0.75. We're going to hit OK. And there we go. So this is object number one. And how I would like you to submit this is we're going to go and check the volume. So if you go to your home view, this is your isometric view. So I want to move that over to the side. I want you to go over to the model browser. And on the part name, I want you to right click and go to eye properties. So in eye properties, we're going to go to the physical tab. You may need to hit update. And in here, you're going to get the volume calculation, 16.51 or 531 cubic inches. This is going to be critical for the assessment of this part. This proves that you designed this part accurately. So I want three things when you submit this. I want to see your isometric view. I want to see your volume calculation. And I want to see your sign-in name up here. That'll be it for object number one. Thanks for watching.